Right, welcome back. Uh, we're going to get going in just a moment. Uh, but again, uh, I would like to ask all of you to like and subscribe uh, if you want to come along with me, see where we head up next. Uh, it would help this channel to grow. And as I say, I want to get going on other games too. But for now, let's start the quest. So we activate the Statue of Mara. Approach, my child, and choose where your new life shall begin. So you can either arrive on board a ship, own property in one of the holds, which is probably a little bit cheaty. Uh, new member of a guild. I've ever, no, never done this one. Which guild are you a new recruit for? Oh, okay. Uh, so we can join the Companions, the College of Winter Hold, Dark Brotherhood, Thieves Guild, Dawn Guard, Lord Harkon's Court, or we can be surprised. So be it. May your membership prove long and fruitful. We're Approach not worry my child about just that. and choose where your new life shall um, begin. Let's go with what else can we do? Patron at a local inn, soldier in the army, crossing the border illegally, which is the original start. Want to escape this cell? That's the one I normally do. Uh, you literally just you end up with some lock picks over here. You pick the door, and it puts you in a really good position to attack a bandit stronghold on the way to White Run. Uh, but then you've got to go back that way later on to get to River Run and you can't carry all of it. It can be a bit of a pain. Uh, you can be an outlaw, you can be a vigilant and stendar, you can be camping in the woods, which is a good way to start with frostfall and camping and all of that. Because you get a complete set of fur armour and food and wood axe as well. Uh, you can be shipwrecked off the coast. You can be a vampire, a necromancer, a warlock, you can be attacked and left for dead, or you can be Eric the Slayer's childhood friend, but I don't know who Eric the Slayer is. <clears throat> or again, you can be surprised. Let's go camping in the woods. The woods can be so peaceful this time of year. Good hunting. Right, um, yeah. Nothing else to do. Just sleep. Just gonna have a drink. funny then. But here we are. In Skyrim. There he goes. Oh my god, this game just looks so much better. Look at that. Right, anyway, onwards. We are wearing fur armor. A complete set. Helps us a great deal. Take the woodcutting axe. Take the food. Right, and then let's have a quick look at the menu. Favorite that, favorite that, favorite that. Actually no, put the axe on. Disease resistance. Nice. Minor champion. 10% extra damage. 10% uh, harder to detect. That's nice. Warmth and coverage. Clothing and armor add warmth and coverage, which are like an armor rating against the environment. The more you have of each, the longer you can survive in difficult conditions. Makes sense. Warmth is higher with gear that has insulation and furs. It slows down your rate of exposure at all times. Coverage is higher with gear that has tight fittings and water repellent materials, blocking the wind and rain. This slows down how quickly you get wet in rain and your rate of exposure in severe weather. You can modify the protection of any equipment by selecting the inspect equipment power from the magic menu and pressing shout. So, 
warmth keeps you warm coverage keeps you dry that's all you got to remember and then put this one on the other ring how do, how do we do it we should be able to put multiple rings on uh, how do we do it yeah, I'll figure it out later and then we will put the earrings in too because why not potion of healing favorite that got some good food here the books I am gonna open them up and then you can pause the video if you want to read them survivor's guide to Skyrim let's just leaf through the pages quick This is basically just saying about how you can use a cooking pot to make better meals. You can make a tent, uh, different environs. I'm probably skipping this a bit too quick. If you want to see it again, I'll do it again some other time. Uh, go to magic. What can we do here? Nothing really. So open up our menu. Number one, number two, and number eight. And how are we feeling? Peckish and slightly thirsty. Now yeah, I'm not too worried about that. I'm going to turn our HUD on. And then let's go get this quest done, first of all. We want to keep our eyes out for any wildlife because we're going to need a lot of fur and a lot of leather in order to make uh, box pouches, backpacks, fur cloaks. Uh, I've got fur armor but I'd like to change them over for a couple of different bits. Uh, fur gauntlets rather than fur gloves, whatever they are. Uh, this area is cold and your exposure will begin to increase. The indicator at the top of your screen, if enabled, shows the current temperature ranging from frigid, nearly empty, to warm, full. I can't seem to get that appearing. Uh, I need to look into how to do that. Got some street lights, that's nice. Not too sure if there's bad guys in here yet. I guess we'll find out. Doesn't seem to be. The body turns to ash as you touch it, but somehow a leather journal survived the attack. Let's read the journal. Again, I'm just going to skip through the pages. Investigate the cave or warn the residents. Let's investigate the cave. Is there any food in here? Nope. food. There we go. Wasn't sure if that was going to let me through then. Mm, 
No, everyone's dead. Dave. Everyone's dead, Dave. They're all dead. Everyone's dead, Dave. They're all dead. Everyone, Dave. Everyone's dead, Dave. I wonder how many people are going to get that reference. <laughs> Oh wow, I'm picking up lots of stuff. I'm gonna disable, um, how did I? There we go. Turn off auto harvest for now. Because I've got limited space. Butter, yeah we'll take that. Take the flour. Right, I'm sure I've got some stuff I can drop now. Yeah, we don't need that. All that. Keep hold of that. We're going to eat these for later. Yeah, we keep all of that. All wine. I think it sells for a good price. Sorry. I'm uh, still getting over a cold. Iron armor, that's nice. Iron ingot. Yeah, I don't need the firewood just yet. That's empty. More food, always good. Can I drop any of this yet? Actually no, I'm going to put some of it on. Uh, let's do that. We'll leave that on for now. I think this whole place is going to be empty. Yeah, there's more dead bodies. Lots of dead bodies actually. Let's take everything until we're full up. And then we'll sort out what we're going to drop later. I didn't actually look, look at uh, what that one was called. Brief History of the Empire, Volume 2. Let's take that as well. Right, we got better weapons now. Unfavourite that. We're going to use Imperial Sword. Favourite that. Uh, sword it by armor value. And use the Iron Shield. Have we got a better helmet yet? Leather Hood. Yeah, we'll use that then. Yeah, Imperial Pouches. Nice. I really, I really don't know why I can't do that. Anyway. There we go. We've got some decent stats on our Wantham coverage now. The Book of the Dragonborn. I don't know. Maybe if you want to hear me read them, I might. Probably won't, but you can ask. And everybody's favourite mini-game. Ooh, spell tome. That was sparks, I think. Let's learn that. So make that one, make that four, make that five. Because I'm going to pick up a longbow in a minute, I think, from uh, another area. Right, 
Nothing in here. I'm going to do it anyway for the uh, XP. Nothing in there. Damn it. God, I hate this game. The lock picking, I mean, not Skyrim. You got anything for me? Just bone meal. Bone meal. Bone meal and four septims, I think that was. I'll take it at this point. Head on down. And again, everyone's dead. More pouches, excellent. Ah, it's the same one. I can't wear two of them, that's annoying. Right, we're going to have to get picky now. What can we drop? Don't need that. Hmm, let's put this right down already. Fair enough then. What's down here? I swear that... Oh, there they are. Alright, okay. Let's go around again. So we had, yeah, there's no one here. One dude there. Two dudes here. Yeah, I took the arrows. And then, yeah, just that guy there. Who doesn't have arrows? Gonna take those. Oh, I got a longbow now. There we go. Oh, what's... Yeah. Okay, that's not bad. Number three. Right then. Oh. Oh, shit. Ah, I've got to go back. Right, let's put the fur armour on so I can move a bit quicker. So where have I gone? So where have I got to go? 
Over that way, apparently. Let's put my armour back on, just in case. Any wildlife? Don't think so. Alright, I've got to head over this way. Wait, where am I going? Oh, okay, right. Right, I remember now. So this is normally where you would come out uh, during the uh, in introductory quest. But with the alternate start mod, you come back in this way. And when you get around the corner, normally there's a bear here. But now, you will have Hadvar laying here wounded, asking why you came back. You can speak to him, uh, and he'll ask for a potion. If you give him a potion, you will activate the main quest for the Imper uh, Imperial Forces? Empire? And big rock falls on Raylof. However, if you come over here, speak to Raylof, give him the potion. A big rock falls on Hadvar. So you need to decide who you want to be with. Giggity. Right, we need to drop something. Let's put that helmet on. What's the best armor? Yeah, that's the best armor. We need to drop something heavy. Drop that. And then if we eat some stuff, this will tell us what it does, but also we can lose some weight. There we go. Now we're going to need to drop more of that, aren't we? Or are we? Yeah, we'll see. Can I get rid of any junk, actually? Nope. Right, let's talk to Rayloff. I came to see what was going on here. Are you crazy? Riverwood will burn. You need to go warn them now. You don't understand. By Isamir's beard, are you daft? Never mind, just help me out and I'll come with. Find me a healing potion. Do you have the potion? Yes. I knew I could count on you. Give him one of these. Bye bye, Hadvar. And then Radoff will get up and meet you outside. I'm not going to do that though. I am going to go get some XP. Oh, god damn it. Um. Uh, what can we get rid of? Yeah, let's get rid of that. Because we're about to fight some creepy crawlies. trigger the big ones. Run, 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 run. And then duck and draw. Nice. Yet. 
take all of this. What's this? Oh no, never mind. Take that. Take that. And then we'll take one of these as well. Let's eat the uh, spider's egg. Where is it? And a skeever tail. And then we know what the rest do. Yeah, it hurts, but it's worth it. Um, yeah, right. More loot. I think it's just a coin purse up here. And then that's it all done. Yep. And then that's about as much loot as you can get from Helgen. So let's just run back round and then we'll meet up at Rayloff and head off to Riverwood. And sell a bunch of shit. And then we'll get ourselves kitted up for survival. Uh, and by that I mean making uh, a backpack, a tent, cloak if I've got enough. But definitely more box pouches. More carrying means more money. More money means I can get a horse, which means more money. Uh, which means I can get a follower and give them box pouches, which means even more money, which means I get a house. Uh, and then I'm pretty much laughing after that. Right, so I'm going to end this particular episode here. Thank you very much for watching. Again, please do remember to like and subscribe. I want to grow this channel. I keep saying it. Please help me do it. Thank you very much. Goodbye.